Meet the five players the Denver Broncos can sign if they get cut. We just received urgent information from the Denver Broncos team, the Denver Broncos will need to make some rostering decisions as they are currently about $9.3 million under the cap, if they want to be free agency entrants, they will need to clear more space. If you want to stay on top of all the news, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any information about news like these. Along with players who will become unrestricted free agents, the Broncos may also consider those released by other teams from their contracts. That could provide the Broncos with a player who is exactly what new coach Sean Payton and his team need for their schemes, possibly for less cost than an unrestricted free agent. Time to ask for a like. Before we know the five players the Broncos might consider if they are released from their current deals, give this video a like so you don't miss the latest Denver Broncos news firsthand. Be the first to have updated information about this team. Content. Here are the five names the Broncos could consider if released from their current deals. Marcus Mariota. Mariota debuted for the Falcons in 2022 in a 13-game season. However, he was eventually replaced by Desmond Ritter, who did not stand out. Now, rumors are that the Atlanta Falcons are interested in acquiring a veteran to fill the spot. The Falcons would be interested in Derek Carr and Lamar Jackson if given the chance to acquire a veteran, which could make Marcus Mariota expendable. While you may want to avoid signing Marcus Mariota in the starting lineup, he is the ideal backup QB for your team. The only question would be how much salary he would want, but if he was released, that would mean he would receive less money than other reinforcements would receive. Tyron Smith Jordan Smith has been recognized as one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL, as evidenced by his seven Pro Bowl starts. However, Smith has missed 22 games over the past three seasons. After Tyler Smith did a good job at left tackle for the Dallas Cowboys last season, the Cowboys decided to release Tyron to invest in other areas. Tyron Smith has experience at right tackle, although he's not a long-term option. If it's available, it's worth considering, but you have to weigh its price beyond what its reputation establishes. Frank Clark in 2022, Clark's contract was renegotiated to a base salary of $3.275 million, plus $2.5 million in bonuses. He will have a salary of $20.5 million in 2023, with $10 million guaranteed if he joins the Kansas City Chiefs on March 21. Clark hasn't played at a level that justifies $20.5 million, and considering the Chiefs have other priorities to deal with, it wouldn't be surprising if they cut Clark to avoid paying the $10 million guarantee. Depending on who the Broncos hire to be defensive coordinator, Clark could be a good fit if he's released. He would give the Broncos a veteran option for the fast pass who, while he lost a handful of games, didn't lose as many as Randy Gregory. Harrison Smith the Minnesota Vikings are $23.2 million over the salary cap and need to find ways to break even. This could mean that they cut some players, like Smith, could be one they have little choice in. If the Vikings decide to release Smith, it's a good idea to take a look, as he's expected to earn $14.7 million in base salary in 2023, but he's not playing at a level to justify such a payout. Smith will be 34 years old in 2023, and in that sense, he would not be indicated to sign a long-term contract. However, due to growing health concerns for Caden Stearns, he may be considered an experienced player to serve as insurance. Love Jackson Jackson signed a contract to play for the New York Giants for three years and saw promising results in 2021. Unfortunately, the 2022 season was cut short by the ankle injury he suffered. While the Giants have plenty of cap space, they haven't signed Jackson and may choose to look at other options. If Jackson stays on the roster starting March 20, they'll have to secure around $2 million from his salary. The Broncos may consider Jackson as one of several cornerbacks that would be available for release. 
However, it all depends on the salary, with Ronald Darby owed $9.5 million in base salary for 2023. Only a cornerback who is cut and willing to take less money can fill Darby's shoes. Keep an eye out for potential cuts in the league, including QB Mitchell Trubisky, Edge Bud Dupree, OT Taylor Lewan and CD Shaquille Griffin and William Jackson, in addition to the five players I mentioned. So that was a Denver Broncos fan, leave your opinion in the comments, because your comment is very important for the Denver Broncos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, because at any time I will bring the development of this information exclusively.